Hi, I'm David Scranton from the Income Generation, and thanks for clicking this video. Everyone always wants to know the answer to the question, when should I retire? You know, is there a specific age? What factors should I consider? And today we're breaking it all down for you. And I'm here with Jeff Small, president of Arbor Financial Services. But we also want to bring in today's special guest, Dr. Lawrence Kotlikoff, an economics professor at Boston University and the president of MaxFi, a personal financial planner. He's also the author of the upcoming book, which I can't wait to find out about, Money Magic, An Economist's Secrets to More Money, Less Risk, and a Better Life. I love the sounds of that coming out in January of 2022. Uh, Dr. Kotlikoff, thanks for being back with us on the Income Generation. Yeah, it's uh, great to be back with you guys. I love talking to you guys. It's always a lot of fun. Dr. Kotlikoff, thank you for joining us all the way from Sweden today. We appreciate you. Um, so we're looking at- We've done this so often, you guys can just call me Larry. It's not, it uh, doesn't have to be doctor anything. <laughs> okay, well, okay, Larry. Well, thank you for joining us all the way from Sweden today. Um, you know, we've transitioned thousands of investors from pre-retirement to retirement, and there's no one size fits all answer to when you retire. When you factor in the economic, the, the psychological and the emotional dynamic of transitioning. So is there a common denominator for when folks are ready to retire? Uh, well, I think there's. No, I don't think there's a common denominator because everybody's situation is so different. Somebody might have inherited money. Somebody might have just gotten a, a job, gotten divorced, and started really earning some money late in life. Uh, and they ended up. They don't have much savings. Somebody could have a big Social Security uh, benefit coming. Somebody could not. It's really um, uh, very individual specific. But what is a common denominator, Jeff? Is is making a very careful decision about when you re when you can really afford to retire, and to an economist, uh, uh, it's a very straightforward calculation, which is, what's my living standard? What's my disposable spendable uh, income going to be uh, for the rest of my life if I retire, let's say at sixty two versus uh, sixty five versus seventy. Uh, What's the cost to me in terms of my living standard, my annual living standard? Yeah. Starting right now, I could be 55 thinking about this. If I retire early at 62, I have to consume less now because I have more years that I have to pay for where I'm not working. Yeah. So it has implications for your living standard right now. So you have to say, see what your sustainable living standard is from this point forward. If I go at 62, 65, 70. And also, Jeff and uh, Dave, this has um, big implications. When you retire, has big implications for what your Social Security benefit will be, because the more you earn, uh, it's possible you can raise the level of your Social Security benefits beyond any cost of living adjustment, uh, because you might be in your higher earning years and you might replace a low earnings year with a higher one. But then in addition, if you go early, you're likely to be cash constrained or feel cash constrained and likely to take your social security early, which is an enormous mistake for most people. Well, Larry, thanks so much uh, for your time today. We really appreciate it. Uh, and Jeff, you too. Thank you.